I definitely at some point on my journey feel like I allowed myself to lose track of what consistency looked like. And anyway, I feel like this is turning into a blog. I feel like that would be the best thing for me right now in this YouTube uh, scope is just to share my unfiltered thoughts in a way that allows me to just go. So that's what we're doing. So thank you so much for those of you who have already followed or subscribed we're on YouTube. Appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out and supports everything I'll be talking about. Um, I'm not sure if I have allergies or just like a lot of unresolved feelings, but my eyes have been watering. So that's going to be something that's going to happen um, while we talk here just about today, consistency and spirituality is specifically around the topics of astrology. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Sun the Pisces on every streaming platform, but some of you might know me as a Sun Sun. I have been doing astrology, doing meaning teaching, learning, as well as doing readings for about 15, 16 years now. And I've been doing tarot for about six years. I went to school for business and I went to public school and private school, private school majority of my life. So I really, I was always sacrilegious, but I feel I really dove into faith as, you know, as life really progressed and things that I did and didn't want to happen, happen. And as uncomfortable as it got, I really always emphasize the biggest thing for myself is allowing myself to to fail, allowing myself to try new things. I've switched careers multiple times and found success in a short period of time. And that's been a challenge because I know I'm capable of doing a lot of different things. I have... Uh, I've been put in a position where it's either follow your dreams or it's don't do anything. So right now in this position, I feel like the best option is for me to follow my dreams. And because I built a business around astrology and spirituality, I feel like it has uh, really just started to interfere. I feel like it's interfered with my creativity. I know it hasn't. But I feel like it has because I considered them so separate. Until I actually started doing music, I didn't realize it was so spiritual. I didn't realize it was so unique and true to its own form. Now, um, I'm just, in, I'm really like inviting myself to do music because I know I will be successful in it as soon as I decide to just do it. And that is really refreshing at the same time it's daunting because i've seen so many other people fail that were close to me and one of the things i've been doing over the last like three months is letting go of those people because those people weren't really like they weren't willing to adapt they weren't willing to use different platforms or to market themselves or they just weren't pushing out enough music and i'm like i'm noticing the people who like survive and do well are the people who are constantly giving and by giving the the change the meaning of giving has changed with society i feel like and this is where the consistency pulls in consistency to me looks like constantly sharing your ideas your thoughts yourself your vulnerable like vulnerable pieces of you so i've noticed the more i give energy to that that is has been more in my favor long term, at least in these like last this last year, I've seen more benefits from that than most of the things I was doing in my life. I always thought I had to like work super hard or be super consistent and exact, very precise, which of course is 100% necessary when you start to get into that step of yourself. But in the meantime, I really wanna like emphasize like, yo, Consistently pushing out, you know, yourself is really so healthy. I've done, I've been doing it and I've been enjoying, I've been allowing myself to just share what's on my mind unfiltered, realizing that I will die 
at some point. And what's more important for me is that I have people that I value at my funeral. I rather have people who value me in their life. Also, I want to have and create the best situation for myself and get to know the people that I consider high quality people. So that means my idols, all of my, the people that are role models to me, the people that I, I resonate with, meeting them and working with them is a priority over everything. And that's what's allowed me to be consistent, allowed me to consistently change my content, my words, allowing myself to just find a new way to express myself, find a new way to get things out of my body, find a new way to be me through the lens of the universe, through the lens of myself, others, my neighbors, my friends, my audience. So I really, the consistency piece, like I would, if you're gonna be consistent, if you, if you struggle with consistency, the key I feel just to like reinvent the whole thing, cause the wheel is gonna be the same, but reinvent the outlook, the perspective Consistently just share yourself. Consistently share yourself. Allow you to be seen. Allow yourself to be heard. And I will tell you, sometimes people won't care right away. Sometimes people will care a lot right away. Both of them will give you feelings. Sit with those feelings and that will be the driving force. That will be the driving force for you allowing yourself to be you because you will not resonate with everybody and everyone will not resonate with you but as you find authenticity as you find truth as you create your vision this is what's going to allow you to be you to thrive to grow to be on track with what it is that you want to be so that's just how I feel about consistency in a spiritual sense. That was more like life. If we wanted to dive more into like, you know, the astrology of things, I do not feel obligated anymore to like give y'all's like updates. I don't feel like I have any need to like respond to anyone just because I feel like my own energy, I want to make sure it's going towards just expressing myself. And if you do want to contact me or like ask me more questions, please do. But when I choose to get back to it, it's completely up to me. And I really need to own that for myself just to set up, not even boundaries, just honoring my own truth and being consistent with my own truth with myself. And I don't always want to be answering questions for, um, for no exchange. Really, that's what it comes down to. The no exchange thing is a huge, actually way smaller deal now. And in regards to, you know, client work, definitely thank you all who have been supporting me with, you know, the mentees, the people who have come through. Great work. Extremely excited to see you develop into your own self. And that's really my goal. Like, while I'm on Earth, bro, like, be you. I've always like had a hard time being me. So now as I'm in my Saturn return, as I'm growing, I'm realizing this is my biggest and most important work is to be me and to consistently express me. So I'm inviting you to do that for yourself. I don't know when I'll be back on YouTube. Could be a month could be next like 30 minutes either way be consistently expressing yourself follow me on twitter at ascend sun a s c e n d s u n uh tiktok is ascend sun same exact spelling instagram same exact spelling on spotify and apple music it is sun the pisces go ahead and stream my music I would love for you to listen to the words that I'm saying in my music because it aligns with my path and it aligns with my own consistency and how I've 
had to navigate that. So thank you all so much. Don't forget again, hit that like button, comment. If you have anything you want me to like elaborate on, the comment section is where I usually stay for a lot of my content. So I'll be there. Appreciate you. Peace.